Buster Bass, me, Jess, and Kim for another review. This is Lumpkin. Game! Buster Bass, me, Jess, and Kim for another review. This is Lumpkin from BotCon 2012 Shattered Glass Invasion Attendee figure in the Bard of Dark Mount. Shattered Glass Straxis. Now, this is straight up repaint of the Generations Dark Mount figure. Got the same vehicle mode, colors, pretty nifty. The one big thing is the plastic, yellow plastic, is very glittery he's got this nice shine to it let's see if you can kind of see it see those glittery flakes it's all over the fig it actually looks pretty cool and as you can see it does have paint applique and as you can see it does have some small paints here and there of green and then mixing with the black plastic which looks really nice it's a great combination and as you can also see the sculpted detail very nice in here they even painted the missiles for the missile pod and we have a nice red Decepticon emblem and he's a tank he's got wheels gold rims yeah and some treads but they're just wheels so he rolls okay he doesn't roll that great but he does roll as you can see the cannon can move up and down and this part can turn all from side to side watch out and this thing also moves too. Why? I don't know. Do not get any dirty ideas, people. Now let's take the Bard of Dark Mount from vehicle mode into his robot mode. And here we have the Bard of Dark Mount Straxis in robot mode. Now let's take a look at the head sculpt. As you can see, like I said, it's just a redeco, but it's a very nice head sculpt. I really like the detail in it, I like the kind of mask esque head they gave it. Love the red eyes. Love the green crest and this black visor thingy that they give a little black swoosh. And again, his head is shiny. Now let's take a look at the chest again. Glittery, glittery chest. And he's got some green applications there. Some black, some silver. Very nice. And the red Autobot. <laughs> red Autobots. And the red Decepticon symbol. Very nice. Here we have the shoulders and the upper arm is all very green. And it's actually nice, you know, circular, smooth. Square, blocky, rough. And then we have the lower part of the arm. Very nice, nice and black. Got some nice sculpted detailing in it, as you can see. And it's kind of cool. It's got the treads. What parts of the treads on the forearm? Very nice. Yeah, look at his sculpted hands. Very nice. And we have his legs. I like the legs. I like the legs a lot. They look really cool. The only thing, you know, that I'm going to grape with this figure is that, as you can see, the foot is very separated from the rest of the leg. It's only touched by this peg. And it, you see this big gap. So it just looks like his legs are just hovering over feet from, but otherwise it's very, otherwise it's very cool. And I like the whole black, green, gold mixture. It just looks really nice and again, nice and detailed. Now duck mount here, articulation. His head can turn all the way around. And I guess he could bob his head a bit, but not much. His arms can go up to that point due to all this kipple, go back, can move at two points here, at the ball joint here, can move in and out like that, and the pin here can make him move further forward and back. He's got upper bicep swivel, elbow joint, and he's got this joint going on, this is pretty cool, and his wrists do rotate, fingers articulated and you know it's on a ball joint so it can move on back in and out it's pretty cool he does have a waist joint very cool his legs go forward they go back in and out turn above the knee bend at the knee and his feet can pivot side to side forward and back now when the butt of duck mount isn't reciting epic poems of cybertron you know He's got to go into battle, but he can't go in with just his fist. So you can see he's got his pickaxe by his side. About to bring on some poetic justice. Let's <laughs> see what I did there. I'm sorry. So overall here, Shattered Glass Straxis, this, the bot of Dark Mount. I like this figure. I like the mold. I do. Uh, I like the vehicle mode. It's pretty cool. I like the robot mode. Articulation is freaking awesome on this figure. And... I do like the color scheme. Uh, when I first saw it, I'm like, wow, that's a pretty interesting color scheme. And, you know, I just like the whole glittery yellowish gold plastic. I like the, the very bright green, very vibrant, and the black. It all just meshes together well. 
I don't know, overall I just really like the figure, but it's one of those things is that, uh, is it worth picking up? It all depends. If you, you know, want a Shattered Glass Straxis, you know, if you want a good Decepticon who recites poems and epics, sure. If you have the Dark Mount figure, I mean, you don't really need to go out of your way to get it, unless you want to, but that's just me. But overall, hopefully you enjoyed this review. I am J.S. Santi with... The BotCon 2012 Shattered Glass Invasion Souvenir Figure, Shattered Glass Straxis, The Bud of Dark Mount, and I'll talk to you all later.